There once was a boy named Timothy, and he looked a little something like you. 20 years old and addicted to pleasure. Every day he would eat what tasted good. He would play whatever made him feel like the man. And he would choke his little chicken to whatever video made him feel excited. Days went by and Timothy would just enjoy bathing in his neurochemical dopamine soup. A massive bag of Doritos on his left, disgusting used tissues on his right and a screen with flashbangs, no-scopes, and pentakills right in the dead center. As these bad habits basically made up all of Timothy's world, he didn't need much else to sustain himself. Other than his parents' money, of course, which he didn't know was soon going to be cut off. As he got a little bit older, Timothy doubled down on his habits. See, the brain is designed to make what we regularly do more and more effortless. This is so the brain can preserve energy on the long run by making things more habitual and routine. He didn't know it yet, but this was bad news for Timothy. Now 22 years old, and Timothy's brain had optimized to making these more dopamine surging activities easier and easier and easier. This meant that when he got home from his dead-end retail job at the mall, he would automatically reach for the Cheetos, the controller, and the tissues without even realizing it. Now at this point in Timothy's story, there is something else that you should know about the brain. Just as things that you do regularly become easier and easier, the opposite, the things that you don't do that often become more and more difficult to get into. In other words, the feel-good chemicals that Timothy was getting from regularly wasting his life away would be really hard to give up if he tried to turn his behavior around. Timothy's brain would actually resist him. Fast forward a little further, and our Timothy is now 27 years of age. His parents are beginning to resent him for continuing to depend on them. And deep down, he resents himself for that too. Let go from his mall job some months back, Timothy continued to find his purpose inside of a computer screen. His gaming addiction had grown significantly, and so had his waistline. His diet of chips, candy, and fast food had turned Timothy into some obese, overweight blob. Internally quite upset with himself, Timothy would just drown his sorrows in more video games, pudding, and Twinkies. Now today was Timothy's 30th birthday. All his friends and his new girlfriend were coming over to share the occasion with him, except they weren't. Timothy had no friends. Timothy had no girlfriend. Timothy also no longer spoke to his parents. They had a falling out after asking Timothy several times to get a job so that they could finally enjoy the retirement they had worked so many years to achieve. But Timothy couldn't keep a job due to his bad habits. In fact, at this point, Timothy's bad habits were so bad that he was diagnosed with diabetes. He had no money. It was on the verge of eviction. And his only contact with women was spending his last few dollars on OnlyFans to have girls on the other side of a screen pretend to like him. In short, Timothy was a loser and no one was coming to save him. With his brain conditioned to now be his own worst enemy, even Timothy couldn't help Timothy. What started as some fun habits that didn't seem like a big deal would end up ruining Timothy's life and his future. Now, Timothy's story is the reality for a massively growing population of young men. They pick up habits which seem like harmless fun at the beginning, but they don't realize that they're conditioning their brains into a dopamine prison that they will never be able to escape. The addiction to easy dopamine, video games, junk food, and porn have been shown to, in some cases, be more addictive than cocaine. Here's the point. If you want to ruin your 30s and beyond, adopt Timothy's habits in your 20s. Think exactly like Timothy did. Believe these things are harmless fun. Believe that you'll be able to drop them whenever you please. Believe that none of this is really a big deal and this video isn't that serious. And avoid what I'm telling you about how these parasites end up taking over their host. But regardless of what age you are right now watching this video, if you know that you want to eventually crush your 30s and be rich, adored by women, look like a Chad, and be fulfilled in your life, then get rid of those habits today and replace them with true self-improvement principles. Because most men die die at 21, but they are not buried until they're 80. Meditate on that. Now look, I get that you might be far down the dopamine addiction path, and there's lots of reasons why giving it up now might be hard for you, even though you know that you should. And one of the biggest factors in not being able to give it up is the group of friends that you currently have. Well, that's why in a couple seconds, I'm gonna put a video up on your screen that was designed to help you with exactly that. So if you're serious about improving your life, you'll stay tuned and watch that video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Spencer with Must Become. Always remember that your potential is your obligation, and so what you can become, you must become.